hopefully, hopefully we're going to be able to get the names on here and as well as uh, the rounds going, which I don't know. Oh, there it is. Okay, we do have the timer. So let me put the timer. Let, let's let's make sure that we have everything. Obviously, this is Gecko versus Sakazuki. So um, a pretty normal matchup, if anything. And we started a little bit late. Obviously, we start, should have started about 55 minutes ago, about an hour ago. But I think everything is uh, back to normal now, thankfully. And as I get this stuff going, uh, I'm going to update some of the leaders on the left side actually is going to be um, our gecko player so i'll update that left side gecko and i believe that is i i wish i had the the names and everything else for it we're using bandai plus unfortunately uh so we don't have everything together so you're gonna have to bear with me for the first few few moments for this one you guys hear me okay good good awesome awesome uh hit the brand new got the perona out played the one drop victoria as well and uh we went ahead and bottom deck both of them uh like they never existed using uh the new opl5 card which hopefully I can kind of show one second. Um, but in the meantime, you guys can watch. Here you go. Oh, oh, did not know. Did not know. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Get out of this first one. Uh, we're going to play the Perona one more time and just eating towards Sakazuki's hand for sure. Uh, discarding the brand new, already going down to two life, which is pretty sick. Pretty cool. Aggression and hand destruction. That's the name of the game, unfortunately. Uh, where is my thing? We're going back to uh, Sakazuki's turn. Playing out the Tashigi, I do believe, and then getting the brand new from the top five. Yeah, I got some friends too that work for Golden Rats. It looks like we're going to go ahead and get out of that 5k swing, um, reduce the cost, and then play Rob Lucci, returning back uh, the two costs, Sabo, I believe, and then uh, Borsalino. Aha! Not going to actually update this stuff. I think they're just discussing what they have. Uh, all these guys are all local. They're all friends, pretty much. Um, here in Vegas, as far as I know, everyone kind of plays each other pretty often. Uh, so if there's any mistakes or any concerns, anything like that, uh, I think it's going to get resolved pretty easily. And we're going to go right back to Gecko. Get two more done. I think we're at six, seven. It's actually kind of hard to see. I believe we are at six. Maybe seven. And just checking the trash. I only got four for Sakazuki. Surprisingly enough, we already pitched two cards for Perona. Bottom neck, three of them for uh, for Rob Lucci. And yeah, I'm a little surprised. Sorry, it's a little loud in here. There's a lot of people. I don't know if you guys saw the shot earlier, but uh, yeah, we had a lot of people. I didn't think it was going to be like a super big event. I thought it was just going to be a nice little chill event, but uh, I don't think that's the case. We got like 48 people here, 40 something people, and they're all ready to play for this 1K. This is uh, Gecko's turn. Got about five cars in hand. I can't really take a peek at what we have. Obviously, we have an eight drop. Don't think we have enough to play that just yet. I think we're at seven, Don. Gonna go ahead and swing for six. Um, tap the two. 
Going to pitch a card for this effect, too, for a leader. Uh, I think we're doing an Absalom. Oh, we're doing the Hodge back. And then playing the Hodge back. So we're going to go ahead and play or grab... Um, I don't know yet, but we have to bottom deck two first. And after we bottom deck two, we're going to probably get a 2k out of the drop or another Gecko Moria, because... Yeah, I think that that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and just play the back-to-back -back Echo Moria, swing six uh, next turn, etc., etc. We're at a pretty healthy life total, too, at four. And then, of course, no no, uh, no surprise, we're just going to go ahead and use Gecko Moria, or not Gecko Moria, but <laughs> Rob Lucci on Gecko Moria's side in order to bottom deck a few cards and um, as well as... Uh, KO both Tashigi and I think brand new. I missed it. I thought it was gonna do the Hamepo, but I guess I, I guess it was the brand new, huh? Also, my chat's all weird, but uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens. I do see you there, Pac-Man. You already know Howdy Jones. Not just yet. This is just able. Actually, able, I'm actually doing table two. Uh, Inkari is actually doing table one right now so if you guys want to go watch his he is literally right next to me so you, you, you can't see they can't see you <laughs> but if you guys do want to see that go ahead and check his out it's in the description below if you want to do that uh in case this match goes and it's on the be right back screen i think we're just trying to figure out what we want to do as Sakazuki now, I mean, we know that the Gekko Maria is coming. We can play our own Gekko Maria, but we're already put tapped two for that, so I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. And now we're just going to gonna go ahead and uh, figure out what we want to do. Okay, so we went ahead and got rid of this. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I thought we were doing something else. We're going to play the Hemepo and then do another Houndblaze. Okay, never mind. Okay, yeah, I was right. Okay, so we're doing Houndblaze, going down to two life as our Gekko Moria player. And then we're going to figure out what else we can do from there. So pretty cool. You know, overall, uh, pretty back and forth. You know, I, I would imagine that this is pretty much what the uh, the matchup looks like majority of the time, right? A, a, a very much of a back and forth, and whoever can sit there and have a board and be comfortable with it is going to be the winner. But I think what we're going to do here is probably just Gecko into Helmepo into Rob Lucci, which is pretty much the, you know, the go-ahead to... Um, uh, get rid of uh, a number of things. And we can probably do that to a 6k swing to a Mepo, get rid of that, and then do that combination uh, into uh, removing... Oh, he was... <laughs> yeah, that's not it. That's not it, big dog. That's not it. Now that we already just took that, I think we... As our Sarkozuki player, which I wish I had our, our names here. Uh, I didn't want to misspell their names. Uh, I wish our, our Sarkozuki player... Or not as our Sarkozuki player. Uh, didn't, only has one card in hand, I do believe. So we, we use a lot of resources as Sakazuki, and uh, it just ended up just not going the way that we wanted to. I think that's what it was. Yeah, like I said, uh, who's playing right now? I couldn't tell you right now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know the other table, table one right now is... Um, uh, Sal and as well as Jake. So if you're a Vegas local watching this, that's who's on the other table. And just thinking as our Sakazuki player, we're facing down a Kuzan and as well as a Gecko 8-drop. And it's no fun because that Kuzan, as long as it's on the board, is going to say no to any of the 8-drops that we're going to play. And, you know, this is this is the thing about Sakazuki, and especially going second. I think I think he actually went first um, as uh, Gecko Moria because that extra life is probably an extra card in hand because we only have two cards. We see them. It's 8 costs. Um, uh, Gecko Moria, and I believe, I believe the, um, the 2k counter, the, uh, ooh, I always forget his name, Virgo, I believe. 
And just for you guys' information, we are uh, going to be doing six rounds, I do believe, uh, into Top Cut, which is Top 8. It's very possible we're going to get kicked out before then, so sorry if I don't get the, the rest. But uh, depending if uh, our, our boy here at uh, Table 2 will um, uh, allow us to uh, continue for Top Cut instead, but we'll, we'll see. We are at Velocity Esports here in Las Vegas. If you guys haven't visited, it is pretty much a game work slash like esports arena type thing. We have our own little uh, area for this, which is pretty cool. But uh, maybe we can talk about that later as we have a, another Robucci come down. Uh, which isn't doing much, although we get to do the brand new effect to look at the top three. Hey, we do think we have a couple different targets. The Tashiki is probably going to be the way. It is a one key counter, not the other Tashiki, unfortunately. That's an unfortunate, unfortunate part. But hey, it's a, it's a trade off to be more consistent in a deck that was pretty consistent already. And I think all we have is 3k power in a hand and 2 life. Although we have uh, an 8 drop Gekumaria, we have the Rob Lucci, we have a lot of stuff going on, right? It's just, I don't think we're just going to do anything from there. <laughs> Alright, so we're going right back to Gekumaria. And uh, I'm going to kind of go from there. As far as uh, what to do, I think we're in a pretty decent place, right? We can, we can play the back-to-back -back Gecko Morias. It's not going to be too much of a big deal. We can block her up as well. I don't think we have a... Um, I don't think we have a Borsalino in our drop. So, I mean, at best, we could probably play, like, Rebecca. But a lot of these uh, Gecko Moria decks aren't playing Rebecca. We're also drawing for a Great Eruption. Which, uh, just deciding what we want to minus, and it ended up being the 8-drop Gekumaria. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of one of these brand news. Definitely not going to save one of those. Uh, swing to lead for 9k. I don't know why we decided 9k was the way, but it is. And now we're here. We're going to use uh, Ice Age, so Great Eruption Ice Age minus 7, basically. So we're going to go ahead and play the Rob Lucci one more time and also Suru to get rid of the Rob Lucci and as well as 8-drop um, uh, Gecko Moria. So this is pretty much, like I said, the back and forth, right? We, I mean, I think this is pretty pretty much, again, where you want to be as Gecko Moria because I, I, I think at the end of the day, you have a board, he doesn't, and he's also at one life. He also has three cards in hand, so... Yeah, it's uh, not looking too amazing. For our Sakazuki player. So now we're just looking to do what we can as far as, um, you know, the most, right? Because there's not really much, honestly, uh, that we can do in the way of getting rid of this board so we have to put our put ourselves in the in the spot where we can block her up as in like borsalino or uh rob lucci into something else or borsalino to sabo that type of thing you know kind of fix our hand to put us in a, in a in the best position that we can uh and it doesn't look like that's the case we have a although we do have a regeco moria and as well as a um hound blade so i mean that that actually might do something here we could Probably Gekamoria into reduction of, um, yeah, and we, oh, yeah, we, we also have the, the stage card. I completely forgot we have the stage card to reduce. Uh, so we're going to do the Gekamoria into, I guess, brand new. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, so we're... We're doing Hina Effect instead. Brand new to grab... Oh, wow. This is actually a pretty tough. Obviously, we, we grab that. That's the only that's the only option that we have, right? So because of that, we, we just have to decide what we want to remove afterwards. Because uh, we went ahead and Hina'd the uh, Gekamoria. And now we get to Houndblaze, put it on the brand new, swing into maybe life? Yeah, that's what it looks like. And pretty much just saying, like, you know, if you got it as far as the swings and Dawn count, then you got it. There's 
What what can we do? Alright, so we're right back to Kakamoria's turn. We're gonna go ahead and swing. Disconnect my microphone, so that's good. And I think we're just saying this is all we got, man. That's all we got. So unfortunately, um, our Sakazuki player is uh, no no more uh, starting the day X1, un unfortunately. But that's okay. That's okay. There's still a, a chance to get some money. This is a 1K, and it is guaranteed from what I can understand. Uh, and uh, like I said, Gekamari takes it. So, very cool, very awesome. Uh, probably can cut to me. I don't know if I'm in even focus, so let me double check before I do that. And then uh, we can kind of talk about a little bit for uh, the event itself, because I haven't done that. And it's been on the starting screen screen, and we've been setting up this ent entire time. So, my fault. My fault. Uta. And uh, it's going to be a pretty cool one. I, I've enjoyed Uta, and as well as um, just watching it, uh, you know, in general, right? There's a, a lot of cool things that Uta does, but when it comes down to it, it is just really about utilizing the, um, the uh, film cards. I don't know why that took forever for me to, to think of, but utilizing the, the film cards, making sure that... They are using them to the fullest. And, uh, you know, I talked about it in previous streams and as well as just commentating in general where, you know, film didn't really have a whole um, home, you know? Like Supernova's kind of had a home with a uh, kid and, you know, Wano Country had a home with kind of Arlong and a couple others. And now film package just kind of got thrown around with a lot of different green leaders and uh uta basically says hey i'm going to make sure that my draws are consistent my plays are consistent we get to play eight drop if we really wanted to we can probably play dofi um uh, package as well and it is just you know it, it's just a really good engine to have with this leader that basically says um uh, let me go ahead and draw one, basically. That's 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 what it is. So we're gonna get this started and um, make sure that we get our mulligans correctly correct. And yeah, this is round two of probably six plus top eight, just to give you guys uh, a, a heads up on that. So I think we're gonna go ahead and go first as Uta, which you know I think that's fine. You know I think that's perfectly fine. Um, I think, you know, when it comes down to it, you probably want to go first anyway. Uh, you can swing eight and get a draw, or you can swing six, get a draw, um, play a one drop, look at the top five, that type of thing. But we'll see if that plays out. So we're actually using the Victoria, which is Gekomoria's in archetype, mill five, to get targets out of um, your deck into your drop or your trash, really. And um, this kind of sets you up for a lot of different targets, you know, a lot of different things that uh, that we can use uh, using the leader effect. And we're just showing that we got the, I think that's the Usopp. Terrible with names. Someone will correct me, I'm sure, uh, from the leader effect. We're just going to go ahead and go from here where, you know, it's going to be pretty simple. 7k swing to face. Not going against a multicolor leader this time, so we're not going to go down to 3. But, going to bring him down to 4. No reason to counter out of this one. I'm going to go ahead and play the um, Absalom, which is probably going to go ahead and pop this 2 cost law. Unfortunate that we only had the 2 cost. That's, that's what I was saying like before. You know, if you're going to be playing this law, you may as well play it in the play that you get value out of it. Because now it's just going to get popped, which is probably fine because, no, never mind. It's because it's just going to go right back to drop or to trash and he's going to use it again. I was going to say, he wasted it, you know, but no. 
That thing can go right back to trash and he's just going to use it again. But law goes. Don't have a one drop. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and swing for six one more time. Get another draw and then maybe play Nami. Uh, but it looks like we're just going to go ahead and do new Genesis first. So new Genesis basically says you can look at the top four or top three, one of those. And then if you get a target, you get to untap one. So you get the get the dawn right back. And I think we do have a couple targets anyway. So that's good, right? Just deciding what we want to get. It's a few good targets, you know. Film package has a good amount of stuff. I have jam all over me. I know that's not about the game, but I'm in shambles. <laughs> God dang it. I like this sweater. Anyway, we grabbed the Tony Tony. And I think we took the damage. I looked down as soon as he did it, so I could be wrong. And... Maybe we're just deciding to take the damage. I'm actually not sure. So what happens when you look down like your jam? Okay, there you go. Now we take the damage. Didn't want to use a 2k, I guess. All right. So now we're going to do exactly what I was saying before. Basically doing all the stuff that we need to do on curve, which is swing leader, get the draw. Get another draw from Nami. Get another Tony Tony Chopper. This is kind of how, you know, Uda just gains that advantage over and over, over time, basically. And while we did get the 5k body on board, I don't know if we have another Absalom in, in drop. So I don't know if we have like a Hemepo to reduce this or like a Great Eruption to reduce it and, and then play another Absalom, right? But we'll, we'll see. We'll see if that's the case. All right, so just deciding what we want to do as Gekko Moria. Got a lot of cards in hand, thankfully. Most of them actually do, probably about seven to eight, if I had to take a guess. We're on, what, six Dawn, five Dawn? No, six Dawn. So we could swing seven, tap the two, Go into a brand new type thing. But no, we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and swing the six. Take the live pretty pretty quickly, actually. And then now we're going to go ahead and swing six. Tap the two. I'm guessing after this is going to be a brand new after we play something from hand. Well, trash, I guess. Just deciding what we want to do, but we want to mill two first. And then getting another... Oh, it's actually going to be a hodgeback from the trash. Get to get one more thing from the trash back to hand after returning two. All right, and now the rest. Oh, what is this? I actually have no clue what that is. I don't think I have room on this overlay to add a card, but we're going to do it anyway. Let's see. Hmm. Going to check. I think this is OPO6 card. If someone in the chat would like to tell me before I, I look it up, let me know. Oh, Cerberus, which is a two cost blocker. Oh, interesting. Interesting. There you go. There it is. <laughs> I'll have to. I'll have to modify this for sure. <laughs> 
pretty funny. Either way, it's a two cost blocker. And I'm probably gonna get removed. I mean, there's not too many options, right? There's a lot of options to tap it down, sure, but that's pretty much it, right? And immediately removing this from the block. And I think we are going right into a seven cost kit or uh, Luffy into our uh, 6k law Zoro. Wow, what am I doing? 6k Zoro. Pretty decent hand as well. So, you know, this following turn, this is kind of what Uda wants, wants to do, which is basically, you know, play out the seven drop, play out the eight drop, play out the 10 drop, and kind of go on that curve. That's what green wants to do in general, really. And black can do some stuff, especially as Gekko Mario. We do see two great eruption in hand. So there's not, it's not like a, it's not a fever dream, you know, it's not, it's not impossible. So we're just going to figure out what we want to do from here. AJ. <laughs> AJ, you don't, okay. You don't have to go to my chat. No, I'm not going to, I'm hungry. This, That's why I got it. That's why I got it. No, I. Where are you? Where are you? How are you? How are you doing this? I'm scared. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and decide what we want to do as Gekko Moria. Probably do the classic eight cost swing swing. Probably into the tsunami. No reason not to. Plenty of cards in hand. Don't want to give him another one. Okay, so we're doing the Grid Eruption, which is per perfectly fine. Hmm, okay. I'm going to keep reducing this Luffy. Probably another Grid Eruption. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and draw two for this. That's pretty good. Now we're looking at, what, a three cost? Uh, Luffy, well, the issue is here, unless you play like soap or something, you're not going to be able to remove both of these guys or the Nami. I think if you do play soap, which now I, I like soap, you know, I like, I like soap. I mean, not like a chat. You, you know what I mean? You know what card. Go ahead and reduce the cost of uh, the Luffy again, as well as the Nami, unless we do the Luffy, remove it and then go into uh, something else, or we can do uh, a cost, a cost, uh, gecko, reduce the cost of, uh, maybe another one that, I mean, we're, we're definitely in a weird dawn count too. Cause I don't think we can, yeah, we can't act a cost gecko. What are we doing? You're not getting a bite AJ. All right. We're going to tap everything. I think this is for, uh, what's his face? Yeah. The, the. The old boy. This is a very interesting card. A lot of people end up having this as a tech card. Um, <clears throat> the Brook, that is, which is the six cost Brook from eight dawn. So, wow, my fault. My fault. He just kind of, he just kind of, he just kind of reared his head in here, huh? I just don't have a space for it, so I apologize. But this is the six cost Brook on play. You get to put one of your opponent's uh, cards of four cost or less into their trash. Or your opponent puts three cards from the trash into the bottom deck in any order, which is generally not what you want to do. But we did go ahead and remove the uh, Luffy. And then we swung twice into probably the Nami, not into life. Got out of both of them. So we're going to go ahead and keep going. I think this is the new Genesis. Got the restand card. 
which I will get the name of in just a second. Why not? Uh, Fairlight, right? Or uh, Backlight. Just deciding what we want to do is Uta. I think we're at nine Dawn, right? We can probably get to eight cost uh, kid. We can, we can do a lot of stuff. You know, we got we got a lot of a lot of options. We can probably do like a six K swing with leader, and then go into another Luffy, uh, go into um, maybe a little bit of a chain because we do have room for it. You know, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that we can do. Okay, now we're just uh, getting a few more cards, a few more options, just to see what we want to do. But I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and 6K swing, see if we can get a, a draw from the top card. We already uh, so much rearranged it. That's still pretty good. I don't think we looked at the top. Did we look at the top? I must have missed that one, actually. But we do have, let's see, I think we have 7 Dawn still to play with. We're going to go in 6k into the 5k, going to get 2k out of that. The Perona goes down. Oh, right. Yeah, they definitely forgot to do the leader effect. I wasn't going crazy. All right, so we went out, we got out of that 6k swing from our Zoro. And then I think we're still just going to do the 7 cost. Yeah, tab it down 7. This one's... Not all tart, which is a little blasphemous, right? A little blasphemous. Got to get all the art, all tarts together. All right, going right back to Gecko. Gecko on ten done is a little scary. Got a brook on board. Six K swing, five K swing from um, Hodgeback. Five K swing from Leader. Not quite enough done. Because it's impossible to do leader effect and get a gecko out. But I think what we can do, even though we already used the crit eruptions, is start swinging a little bit into uh, a couple of things. Ooh, I would have saved that. I would have saved that. But again, he has three more swings. And it's easily removed, so I could understand the, the logic here. Could be a 7k block. I think a 1k is a little bit better there. And then the 7k block from um the brook but it looks like we're just doing seven to seven or seven to six actually so we're gonna have to get a 2k out of hand and i think we're just not doing that we do see like a we, we do see the uh backlight we do see the, the three cost restand uh in their hand in uh hank's hand and i think we're just sort of a little bogged down by the event cars i think that's i think that's what it is which is fine. It does happen, especially when you play like New Genesis and I'm Invincible, etc. This is, oh, backlight is actually the one that removes. I'm so sorry. Rest and remove. How many rounds is this? This should be six rounds uh, with top eight. And it will be around for non-members. I think I'm going to keep it on members only just because I like to cut them up. And then I'm just going to re-upload re it. So you guys will be able to see it from there. So that way you guys don't see the breaks and all the other crazy stuff in between. Okay. It's rearranging. Mm, just getting a couple swings in. Got the Gekko Moria out. Now we're just going ahead and pass right into Hank's turn as Uta. Do have a few viable targets for our 10 drop Doving if we really wanted to do that. We still have the Luffy on board. If we wanted to go into the eight drop, we can play the Uta as well. Uh, so that way we could restand our our uh, seven cost, which is going to make our uh, our hand a little bit more useful. Now, see, if we were playing Perona, 
there's really not much I can say after that. We can just rest this blocker, I guess. I don't know. I just like Prona. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of this swing. Six to six when we had a discard a 2k. Doesn't feel great, but as we look at King's hand, all we really have are a, a few event cards, two un um, invincibles, one backlight, the eight cost kid, two Tony chop choppers, and uh, something else there. So I think your best bet is probably just to play kid. You can maybe, uh, yeah, I think you just play kid. I don't know if you have any targets for this, uh, which is fine. Let's go ahead and tap that Dawn first before we mistake here. Yeah, no targets. So yeah, I mean, that's this, this is the issue with Uta sometimes, you know, green sometimes. There's a lot of like options and tech cards. You have to run a lot of different uh, archetypes. But, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, you just draw a lot of cards. So more often than not, Uta is going to be drawing. It's going to be a lot of uh, a, a very consistent deck for the most part. And, you know, uh, we're going to rely on this eight cost kid to save for, uh, save us. And we do have the hand for it, right? We have a bunch of 2Ks. I think we have a 1K out of that as well. And uh, for the most part, I, I think we're pretty safe. It's just that if we put a lot of uh, a lot of um, Dawn underneath our Gecko, it might not, might not play well. It might not play well here. Someone, uh, someone ordered an Audios. <laughs> Someone, someone ordered an audio. You guys can't. I don't think you guys can hear it, but someone ordered an audio, so now they're being blasted on the mic. You gotta get these sliders, dude. You gotta get these sliders. The sliders are pretty good. There's sli the sliders are pretty good. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This venue's sick. <laughs> uh, I mean. You know, as Gekko Mori, we really just do want to get rid of this uh, this ACOS. I think the most efficient way is just to put a bunch of Dawn on our on our Gecko and go from there. Sure, there's going to be some lines like Ice Age and Hameppo into uh, ACOS Gecko Rob Lucci type thing, but I don't think it's I don't think we have that. So yeah, and no, you will not get to see those sliders. You saw him once and that's it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. We have Ice Age. Never mind. I completely lied. I completely lied. Now I've just got to decide what we want to use after that. Of course, you know, if we have another great eruption, that might be pretty good. Cycle through our hand. And then remove via uh, Rob Lucci. Might be pretty good. You know, there's a, there's a few options, right? It's, it's, not, it's not unheard of to get rid of this. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if that's what you want to do. You're not Sakazuki. You're not Houndblaze, unfortunately. You don't have Houndblaze, it is. Unless you're saying, uh, what is this? Three cost? So you need one more to Absalom it, unless I missed something. Yep, got to discard first, complete the options. Uh, mill two. Yep, doing it right, doing it right. Got rid of a Perona. Less two case in hand, at least. Then now we do the Absalom. So, okay, so we did reduce it. So it must have been something else where we reduced with uh, Ice Age, and then we went into something else there. I must have missed it. It's because of the audios. Now we're just thinking, you know, what we want to do from here, I think what we want to do is probably just swing into base, yeah. The top left there is our hand, and right next to it is our three life. So we're sitting pretty. We're honestly sitting pretty. We don't have to swing into our board. I think you just swing to face. Yeah, you go seven here. Yeah, you go seven to... Oh, we're going seven into our... Zoro. And another seven to Zoro. We know we have the Tony Tonys. And that pretty much says we're good. Now, what's what's very... Uh, a little scary, I would say. Not very scary. But if we go sevens, 
or even nine nine and seven we could probably do like seven seven to try to end the game right but that really just says our hand is completely dead as gecko moria so i think what we're gonna do is just swing oh i think we should have went seven i think we're doing dofi okay so we're just gonna do dofi do the leader a cost and brook and then go from there i like this a little bit better if we drew into the dofi Good. Very good. There was a possibility that we're going to get kicked out, but uh, thankfully we are not. <laughs> we're going to stay here all night. It's going to take a while to get to these six rounds and top eight, but I'm here for it. Sal came by. Anyway, we're doing some stuff here as I'm invincible going right back into the uh, the brook. Now, I thought we were doing a 10-drop Dovi, but it didn't look like that's what the case is. Got rid of the uh, Gecko Moria. So that's a... Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. That's what the sales. Like, what were we doing? Um, got rid of the Gecko Moria. We got the Utu blocker to restand the 7-cost uh, Luffy. We can easily get rid of this uh, Utu blocker as well. Remember that. And if we removed an Absalom, we just kind of gave them an option to get it. Yeah, the, the tournament's supposed to start at 6, or was supposed to start at 6. And then um, we didn't, so that's okay. We're getting into it, and we're playing pretty quickly. There's only like this match and then a couple other matches, and we're right up into round 3. Okay. I don't know about this, uh, this dawn separation, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and swing into life. Oh, we're still going for the Zoro. Interesting that we're going for the Zoro. That is a 1k to his I need 2k. So if you don't have 2k, you're just gonna have to let this one go, big dog. Interesting that we didn't let it go, though. Honestly, I would have just blocked the Uta blocker. If that was the case, just let the Uta blocker go. Because we're. We kind of need that 7 drop. And he really does not, does not like this, this Zoro. He wants this, this, this Zoro to perish. So seven to seven, we got the, got the two out and we are unfortunately running out of Dawn to use. But I think a nice little 9k swing to the Luffy might do it. However... We're going to have to re uh, remove this Ucha blocker first. And if we don't have that, we just don't have that. I, I honestly think you just go nine. No, we're going, we're going the, we're going the seven. Could have went eight for our uh, Zoro as well. Guarantee two cards. Uh, now we're just deciding what we want to do still with the remaining Dawn. I mean, honestly, if you got it to remove, you got it. I would just do that, man. Uh, 
Hmm. Honestly, you must be thinking like, do I want to go seven or do I want to go to nine? Because if I go nine, then he's just going to block. Unless I have a way to remove the Uta blocker, right? You may as well just go six into the, into the Zora if that was the case. Yeah. Go six into the Zoro. Play Absalom. If you have a way to reduce it. Wait. We have three? Yeah, I guess we, I guess we do. I mean, this is a this is a line as well. We are actually in overtime. This uh this 35 is 30 plus 5 as I understand. Just give you guys a heads up. I could be wrong, but that's what I think. And that's what I heard. I'm going to go ahead and use uh, leader ability with a 6k swing into Zoro. As it stands, as it is, as we play this blocker one more time, we are uh, winning on life and characters on board. Now, uh, Uta is in a kind of a difficult spot, right? I think they're... They just got to decide what we want to do with a given Dawn and as well as the remaining amount of time, which, again, we have two and a half minutes in overtime. We don't have very much to work with. We have a couple cards in hand, and unless it's like a 10-drop Dofi, I don't think it's going to go very far. Just separating Dawn for now. Swinging, depending or deciding what we want to do. Because we are in overtime, or at least getting into time, or at least about to be in time, or already in time. One of those. Something to do with time. We probably have to decide if we want to get uh, a life for them. Remove a life. We also see, I think that's an I'm Invincible, but I, I could be wrong. Some of these... uh are looking kind of the same. I think someone's telling them that we only have about a minute and a half left, so... You know. We had to do some damage, though, because I think on time rules, the more life that you have, the, uh, then you win, right? So, Gekamoria could just use this turn to block her up again. As long as they don't have a, an answer to do that, then they should be all right. Yeah, Gekamoria has three life. He sure does. You guys gotta remember this is the uh, an early match as well, so you know we're we're getting our feels out, we're getting our our warm up, getting uh, getting getting that in, you know. So give us some time, you know. We're gonna see some more One Piece goodness throughout the day, throughout the night, really. Speaking of, shout out to Night and Day. It is a store here in Las Vegas, located in Town Square. Used to be where Game Go was, but uh, Nine and Day went ahead and took over it. So thank you for them and appreciate them letting me uh, stream this. And I think we're just getting right into overtime. My timer is a little, a little off by 20 seconds. Looks like they are uh, end of overtime. So that is it. And uh, I do believe because of time procedures, Uta loses because of the live. I don't know if he knew that, but uh, he knows it now. That's for sure. Well, that is it for their back with round three. They already started, but uh, no big deal, if anything. We have the good old classic matchup. It is Gekko Moria versus Sakazuki. Who's surprised? Not me. We're going to open up with two Tashigis on the leak 
side. Josh on the other end, I believe his last name is Josh, or <laughs> his last name is Beard. I'm just gonna put Josh for the for the sake of safety, actually. But uh, I don't have I don't have I don't have access to pairing, so I gotta gotta do the thing. We did go first as Gekko Moria. You gotta re remember that we, we usually do want to go first as Gekko Moria. Turn one, well, turn two, yet, I guess. Uh, leader effect is always nice. Doing a little bit of a uh, roulette here. Got two cards into the drop, but didn't get any targets for our Hodgeback. All been pretty good on the leaks end for two Tashigis. Can't really complain after this one, honestly. You could Borsalino here. I think that's a really good start. Swing five. There's really no reason to protect ourselves as well. And that's it. Really. Uh, just deciding what we want to do. Do see a Kuzan. See a lot of good stuff in Leek's hand, honestly. And kind of go from there. Also, let me adjust this just a tad bit. I don't know if I can. A little off the edge type deal. Um, just deciding what we want to do as Malik. I think we just swing five, play the Kuzan, and hope they don't have a great eruption to um, answer this one. Uh, and on our end, we have two great eruptions and as well as a, two Hound Blazes as Malik. There's not really not much, personally, I would really be thinking about this one. Got to keep a hold on both of them, probably anyway. Drew into a Hina. Probably want that into the drop if we're playing Rebecca. And pitched a uh, Rob Lucci instead. Obviously, we can get that back with Rebecca if we're still playing it. And as well as Gecko Moria along with it. Dang, that burger looks good. I'm sorry. <laughs> I looked to my left. My man got the, got the cleanest burger. <laughs> it actually looks sick. <laughs> Looks great. Shout out to Velocity Sports. Gonna play a Hamepo. Swing six. Trying to get rid of this Kuzan. No surprise to anyone that we're gonna be doing that with this Absalom. Go ahead and pop that bad boy. Don't have to worry about it unless you play your own Gecko Moria. I got the draw out of it. It's not that big of a deal. We are protecting ourselves. You know, I think usually going down to two as Sakazuki is usually not too bad, honestly. I, you know, but uh, protecting ourselves is not a bad idea either when we have so many event cards in hand. Honestly, no counter power in hand when you really think about it. We we uh, got out of that perfectly of that 6k swing, and I think we need to immediately use our leader ability, pitch that Hina, and then go from there. Honestly, I mean, you know, you know, I mean, I, I, uh, you know uh, we have a Borsalino. We have a Borsalino. That is an option. That is something, right? I mean, let's 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 be real here. A lot better than uh, not having counter power and looking at a hand that's kind of dead. Anello is heartbroken because he couldn't cast with you. Well, he's not even here. So he can't be heartbroken in person. I don't see him, and he's not even playing. So let's... Come on. Come on. Nah. I don't think I would have had him on the mic. He'd be like, uh, I, I I, think he's going to age drop here. I'm just kidding. I love Anello. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. Anyway, yes. <laughs> Just deciding as Malik, you know, the Sakazuki is kind of a kind of a difficult deck to play. I mean, the difficulty goes a little lower now because it's been out for a whole set when you think about it, right? That's a lot of time for people to get used to Sakazuki and as well as playing against it. So you got to admit that most of the time, you know, you, you, you kind of know, know what to do as Sakazuki. 
and against it. I don't know. Uh, you know I'm just making it. With this hand partic in, in particular, though, unless we draw into a Rob Lucci, I don't think it's really going to be all that great. Because we can pitch, which I think I don't think we did just yet. So we can pitch, draw one, uh, great eruption, great eruption, Sakazuki, or not Sakazuki, Rob Lucci into both of these four drops. And I think we should be good. Because otherwise, we're going to be, we're going to be, we're going to swing 5k. And um, it's going to become worse as we get into the later turns with the Gecko 8 drops. And we got to make a decision here. We're already 26 minutes on the clock. Okay. We got a great eruption helm blaze into something. I think that's you know not a terrible idea. Or actually great eruption first and then helm blaze with Tashigi. And then Tashigi becomes a 5k swing. You could swing into Hodgeback, swing to Hodgeback again, and then do it all over again if you really wanted to. We also have a Rebecca. We can get back that good old Rob Lucci if we really wanted to. And we finally use our leader ability to draw one. Drew into a Gecko Moria, as I as I understand. I could be wrong. Uh, all right, so we're gonna hound blaze put it on the Tashigi bottom deck the uh, Absalom and then we're gonna swing right into the uh, Hunchback. I feel like he has a he has a mic. He has a he has a receiver in his ear listening to me But that's what I would do if I was him. That's what I would do with the hand that that's given to me I would definitely do that gonna, gonna go ahead and save the hound blaze uh, for another day and then swing into the uh, Hunchback only downside to this, upside to the Hound Blaze and got rid of that one, so we don't have to use it again. The downside is that we do have the Hodgeback in the in the trash, and Gekamori is just going to be able to use it again, which is a little annoying. I don't know if you guys know. It's a little annoying. Okay, that's Gecko. We're gonna go ahead and protect our stuff. Houndblaze still gets through um, the Sable effect, but that's all right. We're not really caring about that one. We aren't able to use the leader effect, which is a little bit of a bummer, but a 7k swing will still do some damage. Put him down at two and going right back to Sakazuki. And we'll give it to uh, Malik where it's a little hard when you have this hand, a bunch of stuff that really just doesn't add up sometimes. Listen, like I said, with that given hand, guys, it's uh, it's a little hard to decide. However, okay, don't look at the camera. No, look at the camera. Malik, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? It's pretty good. Reduce the... Um, the Sabo bottom deck got around the effect. We still haven't used leader effect, I don't believe, anyway. All right. You're on two, Rob Lucci. And honestly, opening two Tashigis, getting the Hound Blazes, getting the Great Great Eruptions, getting everything else. You were set up for success because now our board is clear. Don't have to worry about that. Sure. We're going to see a Gekamoria here. But you already used a seven cost Borsa. Which means. Which means. Get this. It's one reason to not really worry about. This Gecko coming down. Wait. One reason as Gecko not to worry about the Gecko coming down. So now we're going to go ahead and pop both of these dudes using the Helmepo uh, Rob Lucci combo. 
You know, back in my day, it was Rob Lucci and uh, Tashigi. Back in my day. But that pair is no more with 8 cost Gecko. Meta Warping card. Just checking our trash. Just trying to decide what's important, what's not. I'm sure there's something there. Tap down the table, do some table math, etc., etc. I broke Twitch. Oh, I fixed it. And Link's just deciding what we want to do. 6k swing, perhaps? Question mark, question mark. 7k swing is a little bit better. However, we might have our own... Um, uh, I, uh, wow. Acos Gecko and Ice Age. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So Ice Age, the 8 cost. We're going to play our own 8 cost. Reduce it one more time with Helmepo into Rob Lucci. It's like we saw this two seconds ago. Go figure. Go ahead and return Ice Age, Great Eruption, Helm Blaze, all the stuff that you can't get back from the trash, all good targets, usually the ones that you want to do. Got a Great Eruption, that's pretty good. We can remove our, uh, our opponent's Rob Lucci. Great eruption into Absalom because we do have one in trash. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Not bad at all, dude. Not bad at all. All right, just deciding as Gecko. Only have three cards in hand, so not too many options. Just in general. Okay, great eruption into the Rob Lucci. Who could have saw that coming? We might have another Gecko. Play another Rob Lucci. Um, I think we do have a Gecko. Don't tell Malik, but I think we do have another Gecko. We don't have another Gecko. What we do have is AK Swing going into our life, most likely. Going to go ahead and use the ability of our leader pitch out a Suru and as well as um uh, actually missed the other one greater option i think takes it goes down to one and we're gonna go ahead and do a borsalino we know that we have our second hound blaze we haven't used it as i understand as malik so yeah we do still have oh my god we have two that's stupid that's just silly I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm whispering. They're very far away. And uh, it is very loud in here. But Great Eruption will do it. I'm going to go ahead and do the Borsalino. Probably Houndblaze. Go into Hameppo if you want a viable attacker that you didn't originally get. You can put it on your leader. Go swing 9 to make sure they take the, the, the effect or the uh, attack. A few things that you can do the only issue here is that like every time that we pass turn as gecko we pretty much aren't really guaranteed a board which is the whole point of sakazuki right one of the reasons why it's going but it can definitely go the other way around right where gecko moria has a lot of options to remove stuff rob lucci etc etc from what I can see, we're just going to do the brand new. Malik is a little left-handed. I don't know if you can tell. And just deciding what we want to get from here. We actually can use a 7-cost Borso. We have 7 left. So if we really wanted to, getting the 7-cost Borso, not a terrible idea. You can keep the Houndblaze in hand and then go from there. Or, or you can get the Suru. Two costs or two K counter in hand. You don't have very many. 
if he really wanted to, he can pretty much end the game if he if he uh, basically went for it, because he's only at one life. So you're gonna have to remove both of these dudes. So Borso, seven class Borso is not gonna do the trick. I think you get the Suru. I think you get the Suru. Yep. You get the Suru. Then you reduce the cost. Well, you already did that. You can Houndblaze into Homepo. Make him a viable attacker. Because you want to make sure that, that when you pass this turn, he has no cards in hand, or no cards on board, and he's at two life. Those are the goals here. Because you have enough attacks just in general. Yep, here we go. It's like I play this game. I don't know if you guys realize, I play this game. I know that's hard to believe. But now, but now... Now, what's the, what the real question is, is are we going to be taking these hits? With only two cards in hand, it's very likely that we will. This is a 5k swing. You could get out of this one, and then the other two swings, you're pretty much guaranteeing yourself. But uh, that depends if he wants to use just a 5k or not. Yeah, we're going to get out of this one. This is the easy one. you got to remember, you got to get out the easy ones, and then the later, harder ones. This could be a 7k swing if you really wanted to, or 8k swing, depending on what his hand looks like. Honestly, doesn't really matter. 5k swing, probably going in and taking it. He has one card in hand, Malik. He has one card in hand. He's taking this one. There you go. 9k swing, pretty much guaranteed. If you couldn't get out of the first one or choose chose not to, he's gonna not going to get out of this one. No more attacks on our end. We can reduce one more time and then Houndblaze... Oh, we do have a Rob Lucci. I forgot. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to do a Rob Lucci. Sure. So no Howblaze this time, but we're going to use a Suru. And unless Gekko Maria has some sort of rush card, spoiler alert, he doesn't. I think we're in uh, a little bit of a hot heat. A little bit of a trouble. All right, going well, right back to Gecko again. I think the best line here is if you have a cause uh, Moria, then you probably just want to go ahead and play it out, get a Borso out, um, and kind of go from there. But I don't think we have a Borso. Yeah, I don't think we have a Borso. All of our targets are below the Suru stack. Those are all three Himepos, and then uh, a Suru there. Then we have a Hodgeback, Rob Lucci, Perona. Absalom, and then Akos Gekko. Okay. Just doing a little Don math. We have a Suru, I think Absalom, and then two Victorias in hand. Plenty of time for both of these guys. Fit for about 15 minutes, 14 minutes here. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Based on this specific board, what do you guys think? Is Gecko going to win? Or is Sakazuki going to win? Sakazuki is at one life. Gecko is at two. I already said his hand. It doesn't really i gotta i gotta let you know doesn't really look like it you can probably remove if you really wanted to with four cards in hand i, I think you can probably swing a nine or uh, swing 11 actually you probably have to go six two and then um save the other cards in hand for protection play something out from trash uh pop the brand new or suru Okay. Now we're going to Suru the Rob Lucci, bring him down to two. 
I think we have a Robolucci in hand, which is probably why we did this. Unless we're going to swing into Gecko with everything, which is what I was saying before. Pay the two. Absalom gets rid of uh, Robolucci. This is going to be eight. Let's see. Eight, four, seven. That's a 12k swing to Gecko if he does it. I mean, not the worst idea. You, you get rid of both of their worst attackers. And with two 2Ks in hand and two life, I mean, there's a, there's a big possibility as long as they don't remove the um, the card that you play off the leader ability that you should be able to take game later on. One Piece card game players in math. Name a better duo. Saga. Yeah, I mean, based on those board states, Sakazuki should should have it. And we know what our Gecko player has in hand, so it's like, you know. Okay. We'll return a couple uh Hamepo and something else. Absalom will pop the uh Rob Blucci. We're gonna swing eight into something. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I guess as good as mine. Probably into leader. And we have two Virgos in hand, so we can definitely get out of it. As Malik. And honestly, the other two cards in hand could be a Borsalino. Or something similar. There's a 8k swing to I think Mepo. What I can I can tell. I'm actually confused here. I mean, before this attack, Perona might have been a good target as well, but we had to get rid of one of these bodies. It would be different if like. Ah, uh, no, it wouldn't be different. Honestly, based on Sakazuki's hand, Malik's hand, uh, I think we're chilling. Well, I think we're big chilling, dude. Okay, we are taking it. Oh, right around. <laughs> so we just we just can't use our last dollar, right? No, no chance we use our last dollar. Oh, we just get it back. We just get it back. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this is just to me. <laughs> Okay, I don't, know, I don't know why that made me laugh so much. Because I didn't know what his other hand in, uh, card in hand was. I thought it was two Victorias, but it was actually a Victoria uh, Suru. So, you know. Let me laugh so much. I don't know why that made me laugh. Those who are wondering, by the way, as uh, Malik... Contemplates life. Oh, never mind. That's a very quick helm blaze. Uh, we have uh, red, purple Luffy versus Gecko Moria on table one. This is table two, just to give you a heads up. And that is it. Sakazuki does take it. Who could have saw that coming with that hand, baby? Um, uh, we have about eight minutes left. If you guys want to, I think the other uh, table still has some life. So you can click the link in the description to go take a look at table one uh, right now. It's the other stream. But until then, I'll see you guys in round four. All right, all right, all right. We are back. Guess who's back? It's Malik. This is actually table one switched off a little bit otherwise we would have had two different players but now now we're going to continue with keith against him this time on reiju which we haven't seen today a lot of gekamori a lot of sakazuki got the uta in there as well but guess what it's reiju time and a bit of a weird matchup reiju puts out a lot of stuff sakazuki removes a lot of stuff and with our Derma 66 opening here, might be a pretty good way to get some uh, 
curve going for the first few, few turns. Okay. Didn't see what he grabbed, but it probably was a two drop or something similar. Going right back to Sakazuki's turn. Probably just going to grab this Tashigi. Seven Claws Borso is pretty good too, depending on how many you run. Like, if you run like two of them, you may as well just get it now. Right? There's no reason not to get it. Very possible we won't see another one. For those who are wondering who are coming back, chilling, not chilling, got me in the background, who knows? Uh, this is six rounds. Six rounds plus top eight. So I'm going to be here for a minute. Okay, we did open the stage. Sometimes when you don't open the stage, it doesn't feel great. I know that's a bit of a spoil alert, but uh, Keith will probably protest to that. Stage automatically helps you do all of your cool combos. Got four in the hand, got the two drop out, minus the Don, gotta draw the two, draw the one from the leader. You basically draw three. That's all you really want, man. Just to draw three. No surprise there, I'm sure. Going right back to Malik. We know that we have the seven class boar, so we saw a hint of that uh, Hound Blaze as well. Got to see that upcoming, I'm sure. Ice Age in hand as well, I think I saw. A little bit of hand shuffle. This Kuzan, Kuzan in hand as well uh, is a little annoying because pretty much. Everything outside of the seven class and as well as a judge is uh, four costs or less in Reju. So it's going to be able to remove literally anything, which is a lot. Literally anything is a lot. Let's go ahead and draw from the uh, Sakazuki, or not Sakazuki, but the uh, Kuzan. And now it's going to be the Sakazuki. Got another Ice Age from that. Got rid of another Rob Lucci. Passing it over to Reiju. Now it's Reiju's turn to start swinging. Get some cards on the board, etc., etc. 3D, you're playing Reiju, Reiju right now. Ah, nice. I don't know if I got you guys on the on the stream. I think it's broke. I actually think it's broke. Yeah, I think Streamlabs like died. So usually I got you guys on the screen. My fault. My fault, my fault. Got all your Raiju stuff last week? Yeah, it's it's a fun deck, man. It's the press the all the buttons kind of deck. And uh, more often than not in any card game, you really like it. Cool thing about Raiju is that, you know, you get all of these, all these draws. And you're incentivized to basically just keep, keep, uh countering out of these attacks so in normal circumstance where things are not being removed every single turn uh that would be good because you can just defend pretty well keep swinging play these cards out etc etc which by the way if you guys don't see i do believe because uh if you didn't know this keith is a very prominent member of our one piece card game community here in vegas i'm terrible at being in the community but he is very good at it and uh those sleeves those dons are actually custom league sleeves for our one piece card game las vegas league a little bit of lower for you i'm not in it go figure shuffle my hand because i can of course some people think it's therapeutic i think it's Whatever. <laughs> gonna play another... Oh, okay. I was gonna say, I thought you played another Raju, but nope. You just swing with it. We've been pretty much building our hand. Uh, I think we understand that, like, this Raju is not gonna stay. These 5k swings are probably to go in. 7k. Probably take them down to uh, 2. It's interesting because Raju is such a dynamic deck, you know? They don't have, like, a huge amount of tools 
but they draw cards. You put bodies on. The eight drop judge is really good into getting those bodies back in case Sakazuki does some Sakazuki stuff. You know, it's a lot of cool things. And what makes it dynamic is the fact that most of the time you want to um, continue to do that. And like I said, you want to make sure that you are countering out of most things, getting down to five or less in hand, continue to use these guys and uh, avoid the hound blazes. Which we do have one in hand. We have a hound blaze. We have the two costs event card that I can never remember. Two ice ages, a gecko morgia. Um, maybe if he hand shovels one more time, I'll see the rest. Here comes a Kuzon swing. Probably is Kuzon into leader. Uh, reduce the cost of the Raju. Um, Hound blaze it out. Don't want that in trash. I got to let you know that's how they win. A lot of stuff in trash, a lot of stuff that they can use, you know. Doesn't stop them from countering out of the leader swing. And then having another one in drop or trash, really. <laughs> okay. All right, AJ. <laughs> Relax now. Relax now. Relax. This car did not got to change. I got to let you know. I can actually hear the flicking of cards. If I, I, I wish I can. I'm pretty sure I can. All right, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it off. Let me, we, maybe we can hear the players. Hold on, let me see if I can make the movie magic, huh? Um, oh, the audio is not on on that camera. <laughs> yeah, I turned it off. Look at me being a good producer, <laughs> turning off the audio when I don't need it. Whatever. All right, bunch of cards in both hands. Uh, bleh. That's all I can say about it. Golden Knights on the hat. Go Golden Knights. I'm not much of a hockey fan, but everyone loves them here. Keith telling him how to play the game. That might help this turn. Or just saying how many cards in hand he has. You guys gotta remember this is money ha cash money cash cash money it's a one thousand dollar event it is guaranteed from what i'm told i know 90 day will the main man plus morgan the owner the nine and day here in las vegas located in town square we're here in velocity esports pretty sick venue It's kings or nothing? You mean knights, right? I could be wrong. Ooh, thank you for the shout out. Sometimes when I update these images, they, uh, I send it and it's like, okay, cool. I got the update. And then when I transition, it's like, okay, cool. Let me go back to what it is. Thank you for that, Will. It is guaranteed. I got word in my ear. More like uh, on a message, but still. $1,000 guaranteed, baby. About 50 players here. I think 48, maybe 50. Maybe we can get like 100 players in here. Who knows? Move some of these pool tables. Show uh, e Velocity Esports, what's up? All right, we're on uh, Reju's turn. We got the swing from the leader, Kuzan, and even brand new. Go figure. So that three life to his two. Lots of uh, lots of cards in hand. A lot of plays to be made. You do not have to call and scream. <laughs> you do not have to call and scream. 
Thank you, Will. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you for all the information. You guys don't see all the messages I'm getting, but I'm uh, being told uh, it is guaranteed. No matter if we had like 20 people or not, right? 47 players here today. $30 entry. Less than most stores. And uh, we got a new location, so maybe we can get 100 people next time. We probably do have 100 people in the Las Vegas community, honestly. More than that. And I'm doing Top Cut tomorrow with the main man, Eggman, unfortunately. Literally in about less than 12 hours. 11 hours from now. 10 hours. Can't wait to wake up and do this all over again. <laughs> For the sake of content. And the game. I like the game. Did go ahead and use the stage. Grabbed, I think, the two cost. I think that's a 2k, actually. I'm going to look it up. We're just double checking the three cost here. That is the, uh, not, I think that's a Niji. Yeah, that's a Niji. Grab the Sora, which I believe is the two cost. Always a good, or 2k, 2k counter, sorry. Usually don't want to play that, but it is a one, one cost uh, on play, so it's whatever. Here comes a 6k swing. Probably too brand new. No big deal. Got to go ahead and block and get the... 1k out of hand i think we're just gonna go ahead and return oh okay never mind back to hand yeah that is back to hand i was gonna say return back the borsalino but we're actually gonna go ahead and return back the kuzan but it's not the ishiji that is the i always get these names wrong i always let everybody else know or everybody else say the names it is niji not ichiji Oh, for sure. If you are in the chat, Will, too, if you want to drop in the YouTube or the Twitch, or even give me the address, give me the address, I'll drop it in the YouTube and Twitch. Again, this is night and day game store here in Las Vegas. They're going to get a bigger location holding 128 players. It's going to be sick. And if you give me that address, I can, uh, I can drop that in there. So if you're in town, or if you're going to come down to Vegas, this might be a good time. We go ahead and discard a Kuzan. Oh, and I'll say it in thing, too. And the address. Gonna draw. Didn't see what he drew. Got a bunch of cards in hand, though. Got the seven cost Borso still. I think that's the Sabo on the left side. Keith has a good amount of cards, too. 20 minutes to play. Plenty of time. Oh, no. Well, not the Del Sol High School tag. <laughs> I went to Valley. I went to Valley, if that tells you anything. I shouldn't be laughing. Okay, just deciding what we want to do. Every move counts. Every turn counts because, you know, like I said, this is for money. And if you want, Will, you can also put out the payouts of um, of prizing because I don't know. I, I can probably go to the... Uh, okay, <laughs> you don't got you to you don't, you don't, you don't message that. I can't say it on stream. You, can't, you, you don't have to message that. Thank you, Will. Oh, you teach there. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Listen, I graduated in 2011, okay? <laughs> so, let's, let's, uh, <laughs> I don't have too much, too much, uh, <laughs> too much love for them anymore. Okay. Trying to move our trash to the top. A little easier to see for both players, I think. Shout out to the playmats. I think that's the card fest playmat on the right for Keith, the Las Vegas playmat for the left for Malik. Also got the young, young goals, Don sleeves. Yeah, 
in the YouTube chat, there is the new address. If you guys want to hit up the new store, I'll put it in both Twitch and YouTube. We're on Twitch and YouTube. Leave that. It's the technology. It's the technology. About eight cards in hand for Malik. A lot of cards to get through. Keith needs to put down some big boy threats to actually do something. I think we're swinging with Sukazuki or Borsalino. I think it might be Borsalino, actually. Yeah, this is double finger, so I'd imagine that was a 6k swing. All right. And now reducing um, the 5 cost to a 4. Now the 7 cost Borsalino gets the bottom deck hit. It's pretty crazy. It's, it's game changing. And, uh, yeah, Malik is definitely in the driver's seat right now. We got the Ichiji to go ahead and minus. Probably draw because we do have less than our opponent. There's the draw. There's the minus two. Making our Borsalino, I assume, a 4K. Going to swing a nice little six. A little jump shot. Ah, next to the container store. Ooh. Let me put that in the maps real quick. Put it in the maps real quick. Ah, I see it now. Oh, okay. You guys are just like on the other side. Literally the other side. Just a bigger area. I got you now. Still in Town Square. Okay, okay. Very cool. Very cool. Understandable. I would check out the new store if uh, if I wasn't doing the top cut thing. All right, just deciding what we want to do. We got a HG on board. Seven K swing minus a two for the Borsalino. We might want to go six on the leader swing. Make him discard two. Swing seven. We got the rush. It's gonna. Uh, poke really hard on the two life but we're going to do the stage first and make sure our turns and our draws are planned out for sure will for sure for sure mm, gotcha okay so winner gets $500 second gets 300 third and fourth gets 100 Plus the $30, $30 gift card is all the top cut, which is top eight. Gotcha, gotcha. Pretty good, pretty good pricing. Should explain all of the thought process here. It's no longer friendlies. There's no longer casual games. It's about the money. You know, it's not like Luffy money. But this is a really good warm up for that. Once you get the taste of a 1K. It's not going back. Just deciding what we want to do. I think we're still on the stage as far as this goes. No offense to Malik. He, uh, he took, a, took a little while these last couple games, though. So. I'm sure he uh, has no problems with Keith deciding what we want to do here. He's, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a very Oonga Boonga kind of guy, you know? There's some lines and things like that, especially coming from Dragon Ball Masters, right? Where basically I just like to see the play. Be like, okay, that's what I want to do. This is what I want to do. And that's it. And then go for it, right? Which is a little detrimental sometimes. But, you know, in One Piece, there's only a handful of lines. Sagazuki kind of opened that up when he first came out, where the lines of play and actions per turn went up dramatically compared to a lot of other uh decks right and because of that and post that i think a lot of people were mistaking one piece as a high actions actions per turn kind of game it's really not not that many the dawn system really uh limits that i will say the press the buttons um raid you and then sakazuki remove literally everything can put a damper into that kind of thought process Going to 10 Don, though. Okay. 
I'm just looking through our trash. It's pretty important to make sure that we know what is in our trash as both players, because that is what's going to be important for um, the activate main effects, right? So the two costs, four costs, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, those all can play from hand or trap. Excuse me, trash. I think he separated the all the um, the Raju targets as well. That's why they're separated like that. That's where the uh, the brook comes in. It's that six cost brook attack. It's a bottom deck uh, three cards from their trash. <laughs> Mine said, uh, bubble me out of Masters. Yeah. Yeah, AJ. I know. How did you know I had sliders? Oh, wait. I put it on screen. Okay, never mind. I was like, aren't you in California? No, no, no. I mean, I mean like, for me, I, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm very Oonga Boonga. That's why, that's why I play Katakura. That's why I play Yamato. That's why I play uh, Ace. You know what I'm saying? If I, could, if I could remove something, I'm removing it. If I can play 7 cost Ace, I'm playing it. The only time that I'm uh, not really thinking too much, or thinking a little bit more, sometimes when I play Sakazuki, that's a very rare occasion. Other times I'm playing um, Nami, right? Nami requires a lot of thinking. I don't think there's any Nami in here, unfortunately. You know? But that's okay. Her time will come. Give a couple broken draw cards and Nami is back on top, baby. She got like literally one card in support in OP06. It's ridiculous. And I get to rant on this because this is my channel. <laughs> anyway, we're using Sakazuki Seal. He didn't miss, he didn't miss much. All right. On the leak's turn. Got a good amount of cards in hand. We got a Hina. We got a Rebecca. Got a Ice Age. Got a brand new. Got a Gekamoria. I think we play the Gekamoria. You can Ice Age Gekamoria. Uh, Rob Luchi Hamepo. You know, the standard. You probably don't even need to use Hamepo effect. You can probably just draw on brand new. I don't know if we have another target as a two cost. I think that's probably what we're looking at right now. Could have discarded that with leader skill instead as well, but you know. These guys have about 10 minutes left in the round. I think it's 946, 945 uh, on the real clock. Bright side about this, about taking a little longer than usual to get through these turns. Because you guys don't have to be on a beer right back. Look at that. You guys get to watch a game throughout the entire time. Eventually, one of those dons could go under something. Or maybe... Maybe a once. Maybe a once. Still got about eight cars in hand to raid use five, which is pretty much where they want to be. Want to be around five to seven throughout the game at all times. Should be, uh, you know. One of the things to keep in mind for both players. Pretty easy to get game when they only have five cards in hand at a given time. All right, so let's bring five minus the uh, Ichiji. And we're just going to go ahead and discard a card. Uh, I think we have a queen in hand. You can discard the queen. Yeah. Discard the queen. You don't need that. This is something you're probably going to take. Here's a Rebecca. Dun, dun, dun. Rebecca gets. 
Rob Lucci. Rebecca plays. Fina. Rob Lucci plays. And five class swing first. Five K swing. Then we're gonna get a card out of hand. One more time. We got two queens actually. I think that was another queen in here. Queen's pretty sick. It's just I don't know, man. Might be the card to play next turn too, but it's hard to say with all these cards on board. I will say uh, that last play as Sakazuki and Malik is pretty much the same play that we have seen since the inception of Sakazuki. We have seen that play literally hundreds of times. At least I have. I've casted, I don't know, a couple dozen tournaments as Sakazuki has been released. And uh, I've, seen, I've seen that so many times. Kekamori is the, the, the alternative, right? Kekamori until Mepo, Suru, etc. And then uh, Rob Lucci, you know. But the Rebecca into Hina into Rob Lucci afterwards on Ted Don. Been there, done that. We'll go ahead and use the stage. I don't know what he got, actually. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, that answers my question. That answers my question. That was... I actually forgot the name of that card. I think that was... That wasn't Kamazu. It was something else. But I'm not going to stress it. Still got about 10 Dawn. Actually, 9 Dawn. I think he's 9 Dawn right now. So he has one in the Dawn deck. Or, actually... Yeah, one Dawn in the Dawn deck. So we still have less than our opponent. That's a good good sign, too. I think what you do is probably just to... Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess to discard a stage and the other card that I forgot. So I think this is the blocker. I'm pretty sure that is the blocker. Uh, the Yonji. Eventually, I'll get all these names right. And now, now we see the big boy. We see the judge. You're gonna have to like, you know, open up your 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 arms and do the do the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger pose. Oh, Tam, thanks for the raid, dude. You've been playing uh, Critical Role. I know it was a completely different card game, but uh, you guys didn't know. Universes has Critical Role as their newest IP, and it's actually pretty cool. All the art's very cool, all the playmats are very cool. Very excited for all the Godzilla stuff. I'm getting off topic, I'm sorry. Thank you, Tam. Alright, so we're going to return back the uh, Rob Lucci. We got a board, which is pretty cool. We're going to use pretty much all of our Dawn. This is the whole point of judge we get to play a bunch of stuff on the field and then minus everything this is what i was saying about pressing the buttons raju is better than most to do that we get to press literally every single button with our dawn yes yes oh don't forget godzilla taken eight and attack on titan yes i i unfortunately do not forget i i work for universe as well as their content and video editor and broadcaster etc producer i don't know that's complicated 3-0 oh, at jester dude everyone likes likes jester every time that i peek into the community people are like jester is is the sauce and it probably is but then again, people are complaining about Toga. So, you know. Ooh. I got distracted. For those who did join on the raid, this is One Piece. I know you guys play Universes, My Hero, whatever standard uh, format that you play, spotlight format, etc. 
Well, this is one piece. Pretty simple game compared to uh, universes, to be honest. But it's still very fun. Still takes a lot of thought process. A lot of the time. But it is more simple in the way of setup and turns and actions. One of those actions right now is what Malik wants to do with almost two and a half minutes left. Ten Dawn. A bunch of stuff on board. Incredible. Yeah, I'll tell you more, uh, Will, after. Whenever I have a chance. But I will I will let them know. We are coming to Vegas. Well, I'm in Vegas, but um, there's going to be an event at Level Up next month that I will be working, of course. And that's our next regional. And yeah, so I've heard Toga is cracked. Hee 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 yeah. yeah. You want to get into this game, but it's crazy expensive, and you learn that product is hard to come by. Well, a couple things on that. TCG player is your friend. Find a local game store like Night and Day to support you, and uh, stick to one deck, man. That's all I can tell you. I will say Universe is very, you know, it's very budget friendly because most stuff is relatively cheap. You know, there's some spikes here and there, especially after release, but, you know, I try not to pay attention to it. I think we're trying to figure out what's in our trash. We've got about a minute left. Can't really be fooling around here. And uh, I would like to, I'd like to show you guys what what it looks like on my end, as far as uh, everyone crowding around, because uh, it is pretty funny. I'll give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. I don't know if that's in focus, but this is what we're looking at. Literally, everyone's around. This is the last table. Last table. Yeah, that's understandable, Will. Nine Day does have a bulk bin, or bulk of bins, I should say, for uh, One Piece. Comments and comments, etc. Of course, singles are pretty difficult. I think we're about to be in time. We have literally three seconds. Morgan is here and watching, watching the, <laughs> watching the game. I think we just lost on life, unfortunately. Yeah, give him the give him the fist bump. Give him the fist bump. Come on now, be the be this good sport. That's literally everyone right there, chilling, watching. We're going to go ahead and take a break. Literally going to get into the next round, round five of six, and then top cut. I'll see you guys soon. That's a little better. Well, we have Kura on the left on Katakuri. Haven't seen it today. Another new deck with Reiju taking the last one against Gekomori. Wait, Sakazuki. Gekomori comes back. I did not catch his name. I gotta let you know, did not catch his name. So we'll we'll say mystery person on the right. 32 minutes left, updated the timer. Guess what? It's a Paro. This deck hasn't changed very much outside of the OPO6 supports. Got the Kiko no Nojo. Got the Thunderbolt with counter power and Onami. We got the literal so many other so many other things so many other things that um you know category has access to and uh it's my deck of choice for competitive play if i was playing in this i'd probably play category that's a pretty good 50 50 matchup for most decks it's a little hard against decks like gecko moria because as you can see uh perona will eat at that hand and all these 5k attackers is going to be kind of annoying to deal with right and uh hey look at this it's an 8k swing from another 8k swing and we're actually discarding two cards for that one i think we took the first one 
Love those, uh, love those sleeves too. I think those are Nami sleeves. Looks sick. Double Nami sleeves. I wonder what his favorite character is. We go ahead and swing six. Got a beige out the hand. Another six. Got to play another card from here. I think we should have pitched a card if we could. Wait, are we using leader ability? I guess we're not using leader ability. Uh, that might be problematic. Unless we either missed it or just not using it. Uh, we do have a Kuzan hand. That's probably why we're not doing that. Okay. That makes more sense. Because leader ability into brand new is also an option. But, uh, yeah. Doesn't look like that's the case. Baby. Ah. If Kuru wins, this might be the last round. And he's starting out pretty good. Three cards in life, though. Two Peros. That's pretty good. We can bully this, uh... This Perona, if we really wanted to. Will, if you're in... Oh, wait. Actually, no. I see it. Never mind. It's just hard to see. Wait. Am I looking this wrong? I'm trying to look for table one. Table one. Where's table one? Yeah, Will, if you can, can you give me table one pairings? I want to make sure I got this guy's name right. You should be playing uh, Nami instead of Moria. You are completely right. It is the superior deck. Oh, seven gods. And we immediately trash the life. That's actually interesting. Well, actually, not really. We have the Kuzan on board, which means we can minus four this uh, big old mom. Swing into this Paro. Probably draw a 10 drop. Because they always do. And uh, we're going to go from there. Oh, maybe I'm looking for table two then. Oh, okay. Now I see it. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I will update. I now see the lights. And that's been updated. It's Riku on the left, Kuro on the left. Uh, wait. <laughs> Kuro on the left, Riku on the right. Category versus Gecko. If Kuro wins, because of how the pairings and placings are, this might be the last round. I think there's only a handful of undefeated left. Yeah, it's Riku. Riku Rubin. You know, I completely forgot to go use the bathroom. <laughs> I'm good. I'm going to go use the bathroom as soon as this is done. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, just deciding what we want to do. This is looking like a 7K swing. Maybe the face. Maybe the face. Maybe the face. Minus the four with Kuzan into uh, the Big Mom. We can probably do a Great Eruption if we have it in our hand. Looks like it's a Suru instead. Use the leader effect with a 6k swing into life and then pop it with the Absalom. Got to finish this one first. Mill the two. Absalom pops the seven drop. Got to leave these uh, Paros Sparrows alone, unfortunately. Or maybe fortunately. That might be the game plan. Who knows? Well, this Guzon is probably not f staying here. I got to let you know. After three, at least three 5k swings, that Kuzan is, is going to go bye bye. He only has one card in hand. This is the, the effect of protecting our life early on. Which honestly, against Katakuri, you kind of want to take life. It's very easy to do so. Kuro on the left. On oh, Katakuri, a Katakuri player just using... Puddin. We have the, the uh, Armande 2k counter. Good old dude. By the way, I did release a category video the other day, like a couple of days ago. Got like two views. And I think because people just hate category. <laughs> I got to let you know. I, I, don't, I don't think there's another reason for it. I think it just they just hate category, <laughs> which is fair. I thought I did a pretty good video, though. 
My next video is LPO6 Anel. Oh, last call for food and drinks. Okay. Uh, I want to play. I want to make a video on Anel currently, and then uh, basically put all of the triggers in a deck, and then see what happens. I don't know if anybody tried that out, but it sounds super super fun. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and use a Godatsu. Only two live get to pop the good old uh, brand new. Going down to one life. Um, a little bit of weird sacred so sing, but that's all right. We still have a pretty decent board, a decent hand with five or six cards in hand. Two life, probably to go to three if we big mom this falling turn, because I think they're going to go to ten. And as our gecko player, Rico, looks at their hand, it's not really much to see. Really not much to see. Great Eruption will be able to cycle through, but if you draw into a Gekka Moria... Well, actually, we have 10, so that should be okay. Great Eruption into Gadatsu, perhaps? Draw into a Gekka Moria, unless we have one in hand, then we just play that. We actually have two Absaloms, Sabo, and a Great Eruption. I think you still Great Eruption first. You want to keep your options open. Just choose the... Um, uh, Gadatsu. The three costs. Unless you want to do Rob Lucci and then maybe swing seven, pop the other one. Um, it's hard to say. But if you have a if you have a Rob Lucci, a Mupo, a Gecko in hand, you should be pretty good to wipe this board. However, sometimes it just doesn't add up. So uh, I don't think that's gonna be able to happen here. Cool thing about the One Piece card game, however, is that anything can happen. For sure. All right. We're going to go ahead and swing seven. I don't know where. Maybe to life. I mean, we've really been not focusing on these Paro Sparrows, right? So I can only imagine that we're uh, swinging. Swing into life again. I mean, it might be the peril. Because honestly, if we're swinging to the peril, right? Okay. Stay with me. If we're swinging to the peril. We can great eruption. Absalom, the other one. Wipe two cards off the board. Then we have to worry about uh, Leader Swing and Gadatsu. But it doesn't look like that's the case. We're going to look at the top three. Get a big mom. You already know. Come on now. They always get it. It's always off the peril. Here is the Sabo. He's the boy. I think. I don't want to misgender him. We go ahead and uh, discard a Sabo, and as well as a Great Eruption. We're keeping. Uh, I don't know what we're keeping actually. I didn't see it. We go ahead and draw for turn. Got another Paro. Got two big moms on board. Make sure you get the Dawn back, because I don't think you got your Dawn. All right? Make sure you got your Dawn. Did you get your Dawn? I must have missed it. He must have did it so quick. He probably did Dawn first, to be honest. Oh, he's at nine. Okay, so yeah, he's good. Nope. Okay. Sure. I wasn't wrong. I think I'm good. I think I am paying attention. I think uh, overall, we're pretty much uh, pretty good. I think we're pretty good overall for what we have right now, right? I think in general, most of most of this uh, is pretty good for category. We're in a really good position, and we're not playing ten drop just yet. We go ahead and swing eight. It's pretty much saying, "Hey, Sabo, do you want to block?" Because you're probably just going to get KO'd. And I think this is spelling doom for our um, Gecko Moria player. Because our hand is not looking good. And I think it is all because we started pitching cards early on. And honestly, Katakori makes it super easy to do that. You know? Because we're, we're doing an 8k swing here. And then we're swinging 5 into Sabo. Wait, this is wrong. Hold on. 
there you go okay okay he found it never mind i was about to say i was about to say i was like wait this is wrong all right kuro took that one please do not hit my camera that's all i asked he popped off we didn't see it you can kind of see it here that's my man popping off standing up everyone left because they know they're not in the money anymore it's a little bit of like poker you're on the bubble you know 20 minutes left uh so <laughs> it's not really much i can tell you shout out to tisby the boy the main man that was also table one from under i understand or table two maybe so i think uh after this one with kura kura taking this one it should be the last round i could be wrong could be wrong will you can correct me if i'm wrong i can also ask morgan i have no idea where you went actually actually no idea where you went he is gone forever oh well well uh either way got about 20 minutes left if you guys want to i think the reju and as well as gecko match is still going on if you didn't know um it should be the last round however we have top eight don't go anywhere we have top cut i don't know how else to say it but we have top cut and it's gonna be a good one it is top eight we have uh the this is table two right i'm table two Oh, okay so we're table two he's table one if you guys want to check it out it is in my in my description right now for youtube and uh that is the reju that we saw earlier keith versus Juan, the gecko we saw earlier so if you guys don't if you guys want to go ahead and check that out uh hopefully maybe i can refresh Hopefully I can put it on there, but I'll put the link right now in the chat so that way you guys can check it out. But until then, it's going to be a, a bit of an extended break. Um, I would love to talk to you guys for 20 minutes, but that's just not going to happen. Go to the other channel and I'll see you there. This should be the last round. We're going to go into top eight and I'm going to have some fun. See you then. So, 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 so. We're actually back into a top eight. I feel like, I think, oh, there, oh, oh, okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at the timer, uh, I guess. All right, there you go, the timer, the timer is correct now. Okay, let me, let me just update the timer. <laughs> Uh, 40, 34. Anyway, so this is actually uh, part of top eight. You guys just watched all five rounds. Was well, supposed to be six, but uh, guess what? We had no more undefeateds at round five. We watched that uh, Kura category match, and now we're going into Kenny versus Keith, the two Ks category versus Raiju, and we've seen this this uh, this match before with uh malik and um you know that was a little bit different with malik losing in time but uh raiju uh as she can be defensive you know she uh has a good amount of cars in hand and is incentivized to reduce those cars in hand throughout the turn and as we start with the brand new going first as sakazuki just deciding if we want to take the damage or not you know, like I said, we're incentivized to get some stuff in the trash. We're incentivized to have a lower hand size, etc. Toshigi, with the first one being Virgo. Got a brand new there too, I think, in the top five. Uh, so, you know, that's the whole reason why you play them. Toshigi, or getting Virgo is usually the play. Should be no surprise there. That's the whole reason why you switch them out with uh, the other Toshigi. And, uh, yeah. You guys didn't know? If you guys are tuning right back in after that little break, sorry. It's not really much I can talk about for 20 minutes. In ta uh, uh, table two, um, Keith won with four life to zero life in time, I do believe. Um, and our top eight is Keith Blaze. 
OK 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 I want to stay Sure That's fine Yeah, they can just play it out I'll just record that at that point, yeah yeah sorry we got a little uh a little bit of a uh word from our owner of night and day here in las vegas town square etc uh we're gonna be kicked out at 11 30 so we've got a, we only got about an hour to do this top eight most likely not gonna happen it's 30 minute 35 minute rounds you know so uh we're probably gonna do this top eight top four and then head up out of here so uh just let you guys know anyway Got our top eight. Uh, I don't know the deck specifically, but uh, we do know that the losers of this round, thank you, Will, will get a $30 uh, gift card, I do believe. I think he said store credit, but it might be a gift card, which will basically pay their entry, which was 30 bucks. And then first, prize, first place prize is $500. So we are... Right back into it on Sakazuki's uh, turn. I'm going to go ahead and uh, continuing here with the leader effect, draw one. Got a bunch of stuff in hand. Got the Hina. Honestly, could play it if you really wanted to, but we have one Dawn short of trying to get rid of this, uh, this Ichiji. So a little bit tough on that one, honestly. That's all right. Still got a lot of different options. Uh, I think we are just reducing it by one. There goes the Hina. Oh, okay. We had enough. All right. Never mind. I thought I was wrong. Or I thought I, he didn't have any. It's really the, the the thing about it. All right. Well, that does it. That for that Hina into Houndblaze is pretty powerful. And I think he was on 6 Dawn, which makes sense. Well, 5 Dawn, right? Shouldn't he be at 6? Am I miscounting? 1, 2, 3. Hina for 3. Houndblaze for 2. Yeah, he's on 5 Dawn. Oh, because he minus as Raiju. Right. Or Raiju, sorry. Oh, it's okay, Will. I was uh I was originally gonna let uh let myself go after top four anyway and do the uh the finals on our other channel for uh Inkari Kari, sorry. So it's all according to plan either way. We have our Raju's turn. Gonna go ahead and do a nice little seven. This might just say we have a two class Raju in hand. Uh, and then we're just gonna use the rest of our Dawn to do that. Seven key swing, still at two life. Just deciding here. We got a Rebecca on hand. Two Rebecca's, I think, actually. Two Rebecca's. I'm trying to see. Two Rebecca's Ice Age, Ooh, Sabo, Rob Lucci, Virgo, Virgo, I think. Oh, no, that's a Sabo. Ooh, Altar Sabo. And one, two Rebecca, two Rebecca, okay. Here's a Raiju. Just going to pay four for it? No, two. Okay, yeah, we did a two, minus one, got the draw three, doing the Raiju things. Go ahead and remove it. I got the value out of it. I don't care. Three life to two. Going back to Sakazuki. I think we are at six, seven, Don. Just checking the trash. No big deal. No big deal at all. Two 5k swings. Could make these uh, these other dudes a little bit bigger. Tashiki and uh, brand new with uh, Houndblaze. I think we have a Houndblaze in hand. Yeah, we do. Look at that. Still have the uh, Ice Age as well. Probably don't need to go that far into it. I think we have a great eruption. Is that a great eruption? No, we don't. No, never mind. It's, it's the two Rebecca's. I don't think we have a, a Hina in drop or trash, I should say. No, we don't. Um, we could go to Sabo too if we really wanted to. 
I mean, it's not really that important in this matchup specifically. Could get the Rob Lucci. Might help a little later. Um, if we really wanted to, this is a... Uh, there's a Foco de Chao marker. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. Um, just, just trying to decide, you know, what we want to do. Honestly, the Raiju shouldn't scare you, right? She, she, she really shouldn't scare you. Don't focus on her to try to remove. Because um, you really just want to make sure that uh, you're trying to reduce the amount of uh, attacks in general, right? So, or not attacks, but life in general. Just start swinging at life, man. Don't worry about that rage you. Raiju. I'm going to just keep saying both. Um, just thinking, just thinking. Nami might be the move, sure. And yeah, don't uh, don't take Corona. Corona's really good. It just has bad matchups. Corona is just in the wrong card game universe. I think, <laughs> you know, she'd be like a broken deck in like literally any other card game. But like, uh, honestly, it's not her time right now, man. All right, deciding, we're deciding. Trying to do this, trying to do that. Here's the Ice Age. Again, we're tunnel visioning. I don't like when Sakazuki players tunnel vision. Just play One Piece. This is no fault of Kenny. He is obviously doing great because he's in the top eight. But I'm telling you, do not get Tunnel vision as Sakuzuki. Just play good old One Piece, man. Use your Dawn. Save those Hound Blazes for something good, etc. I will say, using Hound Blaze on any of Raiju's targets, Raiju's targets, whatever, is really good because you don't want them in trash. That's the biggest part, right? You, you want to make sure that you keep bottom decking these guys over and over again. So that way, they just don't have the value that they could. They're forced to use their hand. They're forced to look through their trash, and they can't go through the loops that they want to, like Gecko Morio does. So it's super important that we do that. And uh, I think that's uh, hopefully the, the game plan. We have two uh, Rebecca's, two Virgos, I think, in our hand. I think I see a, a Rob Lucci as well for Kenny. Keith is just going to draw some cards. We drew into a stage, and uh, it is not that great. However, we can just pitch that for later. We went ahead and pitched the uh, Ichiji. This doesn't have any counter power. don't really need it in hand. We go ahead and swing at the brand new. That's an easy got. Here's a Jeremy 66. We're just going to keep going through our deck. All right, we grab the judge. It's a pretty scary card to see, to be honest. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and keep or uh, return the um, Hina back to hand. Jokes on you. I have um, I have Rebecca's in my hand. So I can play them any time. And that's probably what's going to happen. If I was him. Which I'm not. I'm just going to swing five with leader. Play Rebecca. Grab the Rob Lucci. Play out Hina. Rob Lucci the... Um, the... Uh, five costs here. And then return any of my Hound Blazes, etc. Event cards back to hand. But well, that's just me. Quite the basic play, but it is quite effective as well.
Just deciding what we want to do. Keith doing a little bit of trash inventory only because uh, we want to make sure that we are good to go with all of our targets. Okay. Two life as Sakazuki, two life as Reiju. Let's go ahead and take a look at their trash one more time. Okay, guys. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh, but I think this is the actual, like the first time that he's actually shown all of his trash to uh, Kenny, to be fair. But we got to make sure of everything. Got to make sure trash is good, cards in hand is good. Cars on board is good. You know what I'm saying? Still five cars in hand for Keith. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six cards in Sakazuki's hand. Go figure. Go figure. We're swinging. Look at that. Okay, this is a uh, a little off topic, okay? As we decide as Keith what to discard. Uh I okay, listen. You guys all know the Eggman, okay? I cast with him all the time. I'm going to be casting with him tomorrow for Top Cuts Online Regional. Okay? You guys get it? We're playing a Rebecca. We're doing the thing I literally talked about two seconds ago. We're getting a Sabo. Never mind. We aren't, we're not going to be able to play it. It's going to your hand. He knows. Don't worry about it, big dog. We misplayed. We misplayed. We misplayed. We misplayed. All right, never mind. Okay, we're just doing that. Getting the Sabo, etc. Anyway, we're going back to what I said. Hamblades? We're not getting that? Are we getting Hamblades? I'm confused with what Kenny is doing. I gotta, I gotta let you guys know. We misplayed, right? Surely we misplayed, because we, we're out of Dawn. Okay, this is just not... <laughs> I gotta tell you, Kenny, it's just not how you use your Dawn. <laughs> I gotta tell you. But that's I think that's what was happening. He was grabbing the Sabo, and then he was playing it. And he has 9 Dawn, so it makes sense. Anyway, um, so uh, one of the one of the thoughts I've always wanted since Hayden from the Eggman is from Arizona. And he says Arizona is one of the best One Piece card game player community ever. And honestly, it's the truth now because objectively they have Jonas. Jonas is a very good guy. Phenomenal player. Great great thinker he was on our podcast modernly played and um i've always wanted to do a team battle between vegas and arizona i would love to stream it i would love to do it i have no idea what pricing is someone dropped the chair party foul but if you're listening to this and you're from arizona and you want to make it happen let me know it's Keith's turn. Please don't mess up my camera. <laughs> I bought that setup just so people don't knock it over. <laughs> oh well. Okay. We have five cards in hand. Keith doing some math. Literally just filling it up, filling it out. Two cards in line for both Sabos protecting our Rebecca and vice versa, I guess. We can still return it. No need to KO. We can still return it back to hand. 
You know what I'm saying? Wow. I looked away and came back, and uh, apparently, I don't know if you'd know this, but Judge does a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he plays a lot of stuff. And we get to minus all of our Dawn to play even more stuff. And with three cards in hand, we get to draw three. Two for the... Uh, oh, actually, no. We already drew one from the leader because of Judge. Well, still we get to draw three. Draw the two for Raju. Got to use the uh, stage now because we saw three more cards. And now looking at the top three. Getting HG, but boy, I don't think we have one in trash, so that's actually a good pickup. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I'm wrong. But we do have another one in hand, so that's nice to have for later. We're going to go ahead and minus literally anything. Probably the Sabo. Yeah. Yeah. Keith's such a good player. Such a good player. All right. Now what? We did all that. What do we do now? Yeah, let's get rid of this stupid brand new. Stupid looking guy. It's going to be a 5k swing, I believe. This Sabo is now a 4k. And a lowly Rebecca 0k. Can't get over it. If you guys watched the, uh, the last stream on uh, for uh, San Jose. It was... <coughs> Whoops, had a cough there. It was phenomenal because Jonas was on stream and he went ten don or eight don underneath the or seven don something like that underneath the uh, I think it was eight on a Rebecca and he took game with it. So uh, maybe Kenny watched that and he was like, "Anything is possible, big dog." All right, just checking our trash. Pretty important, because Gekko Mari is a thing. Checking their own trash. Keats. And I don't think we have a Gekko Mari in here. I think we have two Kinas, which is, like, literally useless. <laughs> it's just so useless. I mean, we can play them out, I guess. Three costs for a reduction, or 3k for reduction, you know. Yonko's plus stage zero, Chibi and his crew. Sure, dude. I mean, that's the idea. That's the idea. Arizona versus Vegas. Bring it on. More than happy to do that. Team battle. Crew battle. What do you want to call it? If you guys are Smash fans, it's a crew battle. You guys don't know about anything about that. Kenny. Five, six cards in hand. Got a few options. You know, we have... I'm just going to get the name. I always get the name wrong. Hold on. It's the blue two-cost event card that Sakazuki didn't need. It's the Amano Mura Kumo. Ama. I'm just going to call it Ama. It's a lot of cost reduction in hand. We have an Ice Age. We have Leader Effect. So many things that we can do as Sakazuki to get rid of this board. And again, I am telling you, do not get tunnel vision as sakazuki if there's any you know advice which i can't i just can't give advice on sakazuki but there's any advice of sakazuki that i can give is just don't get cut up tunnel visioned however i will say reiju will always come back at it real hard and uh, in the form of judge and judge is such a cool card i've said it before too played a lot of bandai games i played it every single one of them at this point and uh, Judge reminds me of a Digimon card. I know that's blasphemy in the One Piece card community, but this is my stream, so I can say whatever I want. But it does remind me of Digimon card. Here's a 7k swing. Oh, 6k swing, actually. I think that's actually 7. We're going to reduce the uh, HEG. Still have Ama in hand. Trying to decide what we want to do for the rest of the Don. Here's four of them. 
Could do uh, Rebecca. Sure. Rebecca plays out Hina for free. That's pretty sick. That's pretty cool. Actually, I think we we swung into the five costs. Yeah, here we go. Oh, wait. Why are we not? Wait, huh? Why are we not using the ones in hand? We have two of them in hand. Why do we do that? Gotcha. So we're using two of the Hinas. That makes sense to reduce the cost of both and then remove them back to the bottom of the deck, which are pretty good targets because um, they could easily come back from the trash. All right. Now we have two 5k swings, well, potentially anyway. We have Sabo and two Rebecca's. Only three cars in hand, so these these swings are gonna are gonna be pretty hard, you know. If I was uh, Keith, which I'm not, I'd probably swing nine first. Let's 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 get out of one of these Rebecca's. If we don't have any removal from. Don't even worry about it. We can probably use a uh, stage. Probably be fine. Yep. Classic Raiju or Raiju stuff. Let's go ahead and use a stage. Let's get a pretty decent target. We saw a queen there. Not a valid target, but that's all right. We have two other good ones. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, finish our ability first before we think about our non sir. Who else is in top eight? Um. Well, while we decide what that is we have keith at number one seed blaze or richie park and number two seed juice or wait where am i oh rj at number three grum or Juan at number four rebo or rico i remember that one aj or aj at number six um and then arrow code leaf or Nathaniel at number seven. As far as decks go, I don't think I have access to that. I don't know if you're still in here, Will, but I don't have access to the images. So, yeah. Those are the people who are... Oh, I clicked Photoshop. If we uh, crash, my bad. <laughs> my fault. My fault, guys. <laughs> my fault. That's my fault. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have the decks, but uh, I do think, obviously, we have two of them here. This is one seed versus eight seed. Sakazuki versus Re Reiju. We did see a few of uh, the names I mentioned earlier on stream, too. On mine, as well as um, our partners. Oh, uh, well, I can't, uh, I can't access the deckless image. Uh, here. There you go. I'll send I'll send a request right now. You'll see. Check this out. Request access. And you'll get an email. Um well I meant from the sheets. I got, let me go ahead. Let me actually go back. Let me go back. One momento. One second. One second. I did send a request, so it's it's to your email, Will. But let me uh let me go back to the edits and then go back here to responses. And then yeah, I don't have access to that. Shared? Ooh, you're amazing. Okay, so I <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me see if I can request access to the folder because I only requested access to that one image, and I just I just sent it back to you. <laughs> yeah, I just, you probably just saw it too. You you just saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just you just saw it too. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Here, I got you. I requested to the folder. There you go. Sorry, guys. I my bad. My bad. All right, I sent it over. I missed a few things. Sakazuki's at one now. Still have the two blockers in uh, Rebecca. We did block as Sabo. Looks like it's back on. Uh, uh, on Keith, looks like.
Yeah, I got it. Thank you. Um. Okay, okay. Look at the top five for the Jeremy 66 card. What can we possibly get? It's going to be a four cost. Uh, Onji? I always forget his name, dude. Um, how many out here, chat? Yonji? Honji. It's one of those, right? Or is it Niji? Help. Help. Help, chat. Help. Any Uta? I don't think so. We did see one Uta earlier. There's been mainly Gukumaria, Sagazuki, this Reiju. Um, and I believe a couple categories. I'll have to take a look. Okay, I will let him know. Alright, minusing. Swinging. Probably going to be easy block, right? You want to keep the Sabo over the Rebecca, if you had a choice. Because, yeah, Sabo's going to be attacker. Rebecca is just there to block. Excuse me. And only three cards in hand. You know you're not going to be able to get out of this one. You shouldn't. Okay. That's fine. Here's a block. <laughs> All right. That's fine. I love swinging with the uh, the things before you play it. And now we have the four cost blocker. Which is a 6k. 6k blocker is pretty cool. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty cool. Yonji, thank you guys. How do you guys remember these names? What do you do? Green Yonji, that's cool and all. Also, Risu, you're in the chat. Why don't you say something? Why don't you say something? All right. Back to Sakazuki. Sakadugi. I'm sorry, I'm tired. All right, just deciding what we want to do. I love that. <laughs> this is a Fogo de Chow, like, yes, please, and no thanks. That's that's what it says. So this yes, please, is that we have not used Sakazuki effect. No thanks is that we did. So you'll see it in due time. This is a 6K blocker. We could easily block if we wanted to. That's what I would do. There it is. It's like Keith is in the zone. Maybe he forgot that it was a 6k. That's a possibility. It is late. It is almost 11 o'clock here. I'm surprised you guys are even in here. Almost 100 people. More than 100 people between the, uh, the two streams. So thank you. Watch the anime. You are crazy. You think I have, you think I have time for that? I'm turning 31 this year, man. I don't got time for that. Well, maybe later. You know the Japan numbers? Ah. I lurk too, so I can't really blame you, Risu. Got about three and a half minutes left in this top eight match. From the way it looks, Keith is pulling through. And it's going to win on time for sure. Our uh, Sakazuki player, Kenny, needs to hurry up. There's no other way to put it. You can't think about this any longer. You just don't got it. You just don't got the luxury of time, my brother. You cannot sit here and ponder. What we're going to do, though... Uh, separate a couple things. Tap eight for the Gecko Moria. Play the Rebecca. That's cool. Replace Hina. Hina. Sure. We're going to do the Himepo. Grab the Hina and play it back. Which, by the way, rule processing. Rule processing. Rule processing. You have to grab it back. 
Correct. There you go. And there is the Ama. A lot of reduction, a lot of stuff. The Himepo come, came out, Hina came out. We're protecting our one and only life. Sabo's here. Still got the judge on deck. Can take him down to zero if we want it, really wanted to. We got two minutes left. And I think that's what we're gonna do. I think that's what we're gonna do. Believe it or not, dudes. All right, just checking out Trash. We're at six Dawn. After the judge play, we do go down on Dawn quite a lot. We do one for the judge. We do one for the Raju. We do one for the blocker. We do one for the Ichiji, and I think we play two Ichijis. Well, actually, it has to be different names, so never mind. So, a lot of Dawn minusing. Heath also needs to hurry up. Well, technically not. Better be real with you. Not really. There's some clear swings here. Seven seven nine. Actually seven 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 nine. Right? Oh seven 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 eight, actually. Seven 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 eight will actually do it for you. Mm, no, you can do that. Pretty clear stage use. Cause you have a stage in hand. Just go ahead and pitch it, dude. You know you wanna. You know you want to do it, Teeth. You want to do it. You want to do it. Only six Don to play with. Like I said, seven, 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 eight. We'll do it. Get rid of all three blockers. It's just that you won't be able to protect the falling turn, unfortunately. And I think we're about to get time called. The total 35 minutes of everything. Gonna go ahead and return the Hina, which is not bad. Honestly, you should have returned one of the Rebecca's, right? Because if your intent is to swing out into a victory, this is not how you do it. Yeah, you really needed to make sure that we are. Yeah, we still have this. St no, we have the stage. We're gonna do judge. Okay, sure. I mean, we're not going to play judge either way, right? So I can't really fault him. I mean, you can play, you can play the stage again to search. That's the thing. You might do that. Honestly, we know that one card is dead in hand. We swing fives, and I think we're good. Fives are super strong here. You got to admit. You have to admit. Also, we have a bit of a crowd going. We're in overtime. And or overtime is done. Yeah. I don't know if uh, we're going to be calling that or not. Hopefully. Oh, they're playing it out in no time? Okay. Cool. Cool. That's probably why the timer is not on here. Also why they're taking their time. Uh, Morgan. Morgan. Okay, eventually I'll I'll get this. I'll get his attention to confirm that. I know we were playing it out, but I didn't know if we were playing it out just for finals. But apparently we're playing it out for all the top cut. Yeah, we do take those. We pitch a card here. Probably the best way to do it. Or six, six K block, blocker. Probably the way to do it as well. And uh, Sabo out of hand will do it. I mean, six K swings will probably be better here. And like I said, you probably should have returned the Rebecca out of back to hand. Sure, it's combo power or counter power, but it's whatever.
All right, just checking trash one more game. Checking trash one more game. My bad, that was me. All right, so yeah, we're doing the stage. That's why we pitched the judge earlier. We could pitch the ECG that we got before. Got the Reju, because it does have counter power. And I don't think there's any other plays to be made here. We pressed all the buttons. All right, so if we're playing this out and we have no time I think Sakazuki wins. I know that is a bold claim. He's at zero life. But it's very possible for him to win here. He has like, I don't know, 3k power in hand. And I think Kenyu does recognize that I gotta do this. I gotta take game. You just gotta do the Don Math. Don Math says 8 or 9k swing. Uh, 9k swing. And then 10k swing on Gecko. That's what Don Math says. I believe. You gotta remember the things that he's put in hand too, right? So we had the Reiju. So that's guaranteed 1k. Uh, I think we have a 2k from somewhere else. 7k will probably gauge a little bit better. But I'm, that's what I'm saying. I think 8k is where you want to be. You don't need the rest of the Don. You're at zero life. I think you just go AK. Don't move my camera. How dare you? Yeah, I think AK was the number. Two cards in hand, out of hand is fine. Sabo did his job, but like, I don't know. I was still more comfortable with AK. No way we're doing this. So if we were doing this, so if we were doing this, we should have just uh, we should have just went a little bit better on the previous swings. But we got there, dude. Oh my god, we got there. Never mind. The Don Math was fine. Oh my god. Actually, this was probably fine because when you think about it, that was a seven K swing again <laughs> with Kenny. With uh, we can kind of see him here. Uh, Kenny saying, I can't believe that worked. But uh, I think the non math is fine there. So saying, I was like, if you're going to do that, you may as well just go nine on the on the Sabo, right? But uh, it just kind of turned out where Rebecca was enough. You put seven under Rebecca, use the other two on leader for seven again. We drew into literally dead cards out of life. It was a stage and something else. I think it was a event card or something like that. And we got there. So Kenny wins that one with good old Sakazuki. Keith is knocked out of the top eight contention. He will get his entry back, however, in the $30 gift card slash store credit, whatever they're doing right now. But uh, that is it for this round. Up next is going to be top four. Top four. I do believe so. Top four. Wow, I should have fixed this before I got here. Uh, so, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'll see you guys over there in just a bit.